guys, Ranch Boss here. What we're going to do today is we are going to show you the process of quail from live to the slaughter to the cooking all the way to table fare. So follow me along on this process. Here today are some Bob White quail. These are Bob White quail and they're native to Texas. And uh, this is the process for getting your birds. These were farm raised birds, all right? So we're gonna be very careful in trying to pick one up without them flying out. That's always a challenge. All right, and these are, these are beautiful birds right here. And uh, this is part of the slaughter process. All right, this is painless for the bird, but this is the way it's done. You just grab them by the head, pull it off, throw them in the water, and it's uh, actually blanching. All right, pull the bird out. And uh, let's be sure that you can see this. The feathers come off really easy. And it does help if you wear some type of glove because this is hot. Now some people like to take the skin off. I do not because of the way I cook it, I need the skin on. So we are not gonna take the skin off. It would mess up my recipe if we did it that way. So we are not gonna do that. But these feathers pull right off. Now for, now we will rinse these down later, but for now, that'll be good enough for now, then we'll clean it up here after a while. Can't wait uh, too long because if you uh, let these feathers set, they're gonna they're not gonna come out. So you gotta get them out when the opportunity. I better go ahead and just do this right so we don't have drama later. You can see how nice this bird is cleaning up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and clean out uh, the inside. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it with a knife, or you can do it with a pair of these. Either one will get the job done. All right, you open it up. There's not much in these things. You just pick it out. All right, while you have your scissors, you can go ahead and uh, cut the feet off. Now we're gonna rinse it in cold water. And this is the, uh, and again, we'll get some of these feathers off right before we cook it. They'll be easy to clean off. But this is what we have beautiful quail. It's been properly cleaned and we're going to leave it in the cold water for now. This is another Bob White quail and this is part of the slaughter process. So many people have forgotten how to do things like this. And this is why I'm doing this to show you this is not something to be afraid of. Anybody can do this. This is not cruelty. This animal is killed instantly. It feels no pain. It's a simple process. You just grab it by the head. Be sure you have a good hold. And that's it, it's dead. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the head off. All right, then we throw it in the hot water. And it's good to wear gloves when you're doing this because when you pull it out of there, that thing is about 170, 180 degrees and it's hot to handle. And it needs to be done quickly so you can get the feathers off before it cools down. So we'll give it a few more seconds and then we'll pull it out. And then you just simply get these feathers and they almost wipe off. And yes, this bird is hot, even through the gloves. I could double these gloves up and it would 
speed it along, or it would uh, insulate me a little bit better. These are delicious little birds. Native Indians were eating these birds many thousands of years before the Europeans showed up. And I'm sure there's been, uh, every one they ever cooked was uh, either eaten raw or roasted on an open campfire. That's the way the Indians did it. All right, then get your favorite pair of scissors. And go ahead and clip off the legs. Go ahead and take this other wing off. Get a little bit more of that hair off down to that next joint. and then you can get your scissors and, and breast side up, stick it in the, the rear end, make you a little hole with the sharp side of your scissors. And just clip it straight up the breastbone. Didn't quite get this one all the way back, so there we go. Just flatten it out. Pull out the innards, and then just give them a rinse, and then you can finish picking off the feathers later. You've got a delicious little bird, and we're going to cook them here in just a little while to show you guys, and you'll join us at the dinner table tonight, and we're going to show you how delicious these birds are. This is the way you buy them at the store. You go from live to this in just a couple of minutes, and we'll rinse them a little bit better before we cook them. We'll leave them in the cold water now just to be sure they don't get bad on us. All right, today we're gonna slaughter about 15 birds, so we're gonna have a few for dinner tonight. We're gonna put a few in the freezer for later on, but we're not gonna sit here and belabor the point. You've seen how it's done, so the next step will be in the kitchen. Now we've brought our freshly butchered quail into the kitchen, into a sanitary environment, and it's always helpful to wear gloves when you're doing this. And this is my favorite recipe for quail. Let's get you a yellow mustard. We're gonna coat these in yellow mustard. Like this. And we're gonna rub them down real well. We're just gonna coat them up like this. We're gonna put a little mustard on the inside because a lot of this is gonna cook off. So you don't have to worry about, well, did I put too much? No, it's gonna cook off and we're gonna lay them aside. We'll do one at a time. Give them a good coat. It has a very unique flavor. You can also use this same recipe for chicken. It's wonderful on chicken, but it's also very good on quail. So today we're gonna to cook six of them for lunch. Break them open so they'll lay flat on the grill. Now, everybody has their own favorite way to cook these things, and what I'm showing you is my favorite way to eat them. I like them cooked dry and crispy. They just have a uh, special charbroiled flavor to it, but it's cooked and crispy. I don't like the skin rubbery. I want it crispy, but at the same time, you do not want to burn it, so you have to pay attention to what you're doing when you're cooking them on charcoal. Got them coated in mustard. Now to keep it clean, I'm gonna rinse I've tried a lot of Cajun spice, and this is a unpaid announcement and advertisement for the company that makes Conrico. This is my personal favorite. It used to be carried at a local grocery store. It has been discontinued. I can only order this online. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get my personal favorite seasoning and we're going to coat them well and a lot of this is going to burn off you can't forget we're just going to season them down real well like this all right we're going to go ahead and give them a good coating all right they are now 
prepared and seasoned. And the next step is we're going to put them on the char broiler. Now I've got the quail over here at our char broiler, and I think every home should have a char broiler. So we're going to go ahead and lay them. We're going to start out with breast up. And the reason I do this is because sometimes the grill might be too hot, whatever, and we don't want to burn the meat right off the bat if that happens to be the case. I don't think that's the case, but this is just one more step in being sure that you put out a good quality product here. We are not going to wander too far. We're going to keep an eye on these because it's a very delicate piece of meat and it can definitely be cooked and burned, but I like it dry and crispy with a lot of flavor. So we'll give this a few minutes and we'll check back. that you will discover about any char broiler is that it doesn't cook evenly, so you have to rotate and turn your meat. So we're going to look here. Okay, this is cooking pretty good. That's about the same. Let's see. This one's not cooking as fast, so we'll move it up to the front. We'll move these up to the front, move these back. Go ahead and turn them. And this one's doing pretty good, so we're gonna move it back as well. So our food can cook as evenly as possible, but these two, they're bigger birds, and they're taking a little bit longer. You work with it, and it will be perfect. All right, the quail is done. I've got it cooked the way I like it. It's dry and crispy. And we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the grill and we're gonna plate it up. And we'll show you that in just a minute. And we have completed our most favorite rice that we're serving our quail on. And I can thank my Uncle Ben for such a good recipe with this order of his for a long time. So we're gonna go ahead and plate up some of my Uncle Ben's wild rice. And then we are going to take a couple of these quail. Dry and crispy, that's the way I like it. It's bon appetit here on out.